when former President Donald Trump's lawyers recently argued before the U.S. Supreme Court, seeking absolute immunity from civil suits pertaining to actions taken while in office, it felt like a moment that not only demanded the court's common sense, but also its character, caring, and courage. As the justices pondered the contours of presidential powers and immunities, the public grappled with a more foundational concern. Is the court still in touch? Is it still a bastion of fair judgment? Or is it now only a shameless proxy of political influence? The question isn't merely academic. This strikes at the heart of our democracy and asks whether the court still has the trust of the public and whether it cares at all about our diminishing confidence in its process and decisions. The Trump immunity case serves as a litmus test for the court's willingness to uphold the bedrock principle that no one, not even a president, is above the law. In early 2024, the court heard arguments on whether Trump could claim absolute immunity from civil lawsuits stemming from actions he undertook while president. Central to this case was Trump's efforts to dismiss lawsuits accusing him of defamation during his presidency. Lawyers for Trump argued that a ruling against him would open a Pandora's box, leaving presidents vulnerable to myriad lawsuits that could distract them from their duties. The debate over presidential immunity is now unfolding, highlighting the interplay between executive power and judicial oversight of that power. The counter-argument, presented by those who sued Trump, was not just about defamation. It touched on the fundamental notion of equality under the law. These plaintiffs argued that granting Trump immunity would put him above the law and would set a dangerous precedent for presidential power. We all watched closely, understanding that the court's decision would affect the landscape of American jurisprudence and the perception of the judiciary's independence. According to a number of polls, confidence in the court has significantly declined following a series of questionable rulings, ideological shifts, and palpable politicization. Instances where the court's conservative majority distinctly aligns with partisan views have evoked bitter criticism over its lack of impartiality or concern for our society. This loss of trust raises questions about the role of the judiciary in a democracy, especially when the judiciary is expected to be the ultimate crucible of our justice system. Demonstrators who now more often gather outside the court reflect a growing skepticism, signaling a significant shift in how the judiciary is perceived by the American people. Analysts point to several recent high-profile cases, including the Dobbs abortion case, the 14th Amendment disqualification case, and most recently, the current presidential immunity case, as catalysts for this shift. Historical comparisons can be drawn to similar instances such as the case involving the Watergate tapes in 1974, which held that no one, including a president, is beyond the law. In the context of these cases, the decisions of the Supreme Court are more than legal judgments. They are important public statements reflecting and affecting the state of our democracy and our nation. Every ruling can either reinforce the court's role as a nonpartisan branch of government, or it can cast further doubt on the court's ability to withstand political pressure. These days, that doubt seems to be growing with every case. The implications for American democracy are deadly serious. A judiciary that is partisan diminishes not only the rule of law and public confidence, it also destabilizes the constitutional balance among the branches of government. The court's inclinations in its handling of Trump's immunity case, as well as its troublesome decisions and maneuvers in other recent cases, have dramatically affected public perceptions of its integrity. As the court continues to issue these indefensibly partisan decisions, its ability to restore the public's trust becomes more difficult. At the same time, the partisan lockup in Congress makes reforming the court less and less likely. The eyes of the country and the world remain focused on this court, which holds not just legal power over us, but the credibility of our constitutional democracy in its hands, does this court deserve to hold that power? Probably not. What do you think?